country to come together, to be united. But others are directly pointing the finger at President Biden with, of course, uh, no evidence that he incited this or, or, it, uh, or had anything to do with this assassination attempt. Uh, we heard J.D. Vance, Senator J.D. Vance, who is one of the leading picks for vice president, in a tweet say, this is not just some isolated incident. The central premise of the Biden campaign is that President Donald Trump is an authoritarian fascist who must be stopped at all costs. That rhetoric led directly to President Trump's attempted assassination. Again, there is no evidence of that. We do not know the motive of that shooter at this point. Uh, and others also, Ramaswamy, Vivek Ramaswamy saying, uh, President Biden's ritual condemnation of political violence are insufficient. No amount of verbiage today changes the toxic national climate that led to this tragedy, uh, saying that Trump's safety is nothing short of an act of God. And I think you'll see a lot of supporters uh, thinking the same thing. And also, George, we have to point out, no matter who the shooter, what the shooter's motives were, no matter who the shooter is, you are going to hear conspiracy theories going forward. No, no question about that. But as, as you, you point out those statements from J.D. Vance and Vivek Ramaswamy, of course, uh, President Trump and his supporters have, have contributed to this violent rhetoric as well. Well, absolutely, George. We were just looking back this morning at some of the things that uh, former President Trump has said. He warned last March of potential death and destruction if he were charged by the Manhattan District Attorney. Our country is being destroyed, as they tell us, to be peaceful. Uh, Trump in January warned of bedlam in the country if the criminal charges against him succeeded. And, of course, in March... He said, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That will be the least of it. He said he was partly joking and that that was taken out of context. Uh, but those are indeed his words. And you have heard it from supporters as well. And supporters are certainly in some parts angry. And, and let's remember January 6th uh, in so many ways for the campaign. Uh, January 6th will probably be in the background after yesterday's event. This is a very difficult time for this campaign. I'm sure this week in Milwaukee that President Trump will highlight this uh, and President Biden is going to have to figure out how to go forward with this campaign and what exactly they say. Martha Raddatz, thanks very much.